Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome. My name is Chris. Is this, if this is your first time here, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the content. And uh, please do those YouTube things like, like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thanks so much for your continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means everything to me. So, uh, it's a little bit of a different video. I usually have a standard intro, but today I'm doing this special intro because I'm going to be doing a new type of video and I wanted to talk about it a little bit. Um, so before I move on, um, anything you might need is in the description below. And um, again, thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoy everything. And I'm gonna need to know what you think about the video and whether moving forward, um, I'm, I should do what I'm going to do. All right, so let's talk about it. So as you can see from the description, I'm going to be answering your um, comments. I'm going to be replying to them in this video. Why am I doing this? Well, if you know me, you will know that I tend to sometimes, well, not sometimes, all the time get like about six, seven, sometimes <laughs> two months behind in, in replying to comments. That's really bad. Um, I know, and I keep telling myself every time, Chris, as soon as you put a video out and people comment, go comment back. You're right here. You're not doing anything. Just do it. But no, you know, I'm a combination of lazy, forgetful, and a procrastinator. So <laughs> there, that's what you get. And so I feel that if you're going to take the time to comment and watch my videos, that I need to respond to them. So that's why I do it. And I usually wind up spending, you know, two days, uh, replying back but um i decided to do it this way so and before i move on i just wanted to say this uh, for a couple of reasons <laughs> controversy controversy but um so there's another creator where i got this idea from uh from single and placing anthony uh i seen one of his videos and um he was responding to comments I don't know how long he's been doing that. Um, and so I am flagrantly stealing that idea from him. And I'm giving him the credit. Now, I don't know if he's the first one to do it or not. I don't know. I don't know where he got it from or, you know, if it's his thing. And I'm only saying that because if you know this diamond painting world, our little community, oh, there's tons of little fights, controversies, dramas. I don't want none of that. I'm just going to say I don't know who, where it originated because there's a problem with people taking credits or doing stuff and not crediting other people. So I don't know any about that stuff. All I know is I seen it from him. I'm saying I seen it from him and I'm stealing it from him. So thanks Anthony for doing it that way and giving us this great idea to do it. So <laughs> there you go. And that's all I'll say about it. Um, uh, so there you have it. Um, <laughs> anyways, I think it's a cool idea. Um, to do it this way for a couple of reasons, really. Um, first, it's kind of easier to do it that way. Uh, I don't know, but going ahead, um, I really want your opinion on as to should I continue with that or doing it this way or not. Um, I'm going to do multiple parts because I already, I actually filmed the first part. Um, I'm actually filming this intro after I filmed answering the questions because, <laughs> you know, that's my craziness, how I do things. Um, but I didn't get through all the videos, obviously. So, well, you don't, it's not obvious to you. You haven't watched it yet. Um, so I'm going to have to do it in two or three parts this, um, time. Now, I don't know going forward after that, if I'm going to continue or not. That's what I want your opinion. Do you like it this way or not? I could continue doing it this way. I could continue bo doing both. I could actually physically answer them and also do it through the video here. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, I don't know if I'm going to go back with this batch of videos and comment because, like I said, I'm probably, you know, I'm about six, seven weeks behind, which equals probably over 500 comments. So that's really, it takes a really long time. So um, I could just go back and maybe like put a little heart emojis or something in them as opposed to actually talking because I'm already given the answer talking you know, quote unquote, talking through here. So let me know what you think. And the other reason is why I think it's actually really cool is that you're going to, if you're commenting, you get to then 
kind of be shouted out in a kind of a thank you in a way um, by me verbalizing your comment and reading your comment and all that and your name. Um, it's a shout out to you and your participation in the channel and showing appreciation uh, to, from me that, you know, you're watching and commenting and putting, you know, the thank you out there uh, publicly, you know, in a way. So that's kind of really why I kind of thought this was a great idea to you. So um, with that said, I don't know if I have any other more, much more to say besides I hope you enjoy it. Um, you could treat this as a whip if you want, because a lot of people who whip, who uh, listen to whipping chats, you know, work on paintings. You don't really have to look up. I will be showing, if you, as you'll see, the screen of the comments, and I'll be reading them. Um, but there's nothing really for you to see, so, you know, it's almost an hour video. So if you want to, you know, work on something or whatever, you know, treat this as a whipping chat. And I hope you enjoy it. It's I think this is different and novel, and um. Yeah, so thank you everybody for watching, and um, let's get to the comments. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is my first time trying this, so hopefully it all goes okay. And um, uh, let's get to answering some comments. I hope you all enjoy this, um, and let me know. Uh, otherwise, I can just not do it anymore and just go back to the normal way. All right, so... I don't know how long the video is going to be. Um, I pulled up a bunch of my videos and uh, we'll just go with it. All right. So let's uh, take a look. So this is the first one. Um, the oldest video, which I have not answered back. Um, and this is the Art Dot uh, unboxing of the Sunflower Dime Painting. And so let's answer some comments. Um, as we can see from Betty, beautiful kit. It's so good to see you. I wish you well and goodness. I can't wait to see more of your work. Take care. Thank you so much. I appreciate that very much. Um, and of course, I will go back and like at least heart the uh, as a reply as well uh, to the uh, comments. Uh, Michelle Diamonds and Crafts. Love the sunflowers. That's a nice canvas there. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for watching. Appreciate you, Michelle. Diane from Diane, Diane's Diamond Painting Journey. I really love the canvas and thanks for showing it partly done because it gives us a whole different perspective. Yes, I, that's um, usually I don't do that, but I felt kind of for them uh i don't know i felt that it was a good way because they use that in their promos kind of stuff so i figured why not do it that way um give them a little bit of done miranda i always love a good sunflower i was hoping they would have more of a selection and not as generic but it's pretty true true but they're just starting so hopefully they come out with some more stuff uh you know they only have uh, like a handful of things i actually don't even know if they have any have uh, released any more and by the way, that banging you hear is Scarlet. She's playing with her mirror, so she says hi. Maritza, I love that. The kits are nice. I'm glad they're adding more images, yes. A very cool working a part of it now. Part of it. Now finish it. <laughs> love you. No, no. That is in, by the way, from the serial starter herself. <laughs> trying to enable me to start every kit I ever unbox. No, thank you, ma'am. Uh, uh, that is currently the sunflowers and my um, Romy Lerda from our, our event last year are my only two what I would consider whips because um, I put those aside. <laughs> Beside the one that I'm working on currently, which is not a whip really. I mean, I'm, well, it is, but I'm working on it. But I mean, long-term whips, those, so I only have two that are put aside. <laughs> and this is one of them um, from Gina. And by the way, uh, I will be kind of short, maybe shortening, or I won't say the whole name because, you know, or the whole screen, um, <laughs> excuse me, uh, handle kind of thing. So, uh, don't be offended, and if I say something wrong or uh, mispronounce, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, she sends always some, like, cute little um, emojis, so I thank you for that. 
Sugar Ray, very pretty. Yes, thank you. Uh, from Sylvia. Hi, Chris. Beautiful flowers. It's going to look spectacular when finished. Thank you for sharing, my friend. I hope so. I really think it is, too. It's a, it's a nice little canvas. Mary Lou. Hey, Mary Lou. This is going to be beautiful. Thanks for doing that. Take care, my friend. Stay warm and dry, always. Well, it's uh, spring, and it's cold and rainy today, so... Uh, thank you, Mary Lou. Uh, but I am sure the cold, or the, excuse me, the warm weather is just around the corner. Because when it hits, it hits. Oh, from Art Dot Official. So Art Dot commented. So thanks for the amazing video. Thanks, Chris. That's an amazing video, I should say. <laughs> thank you, Art Dot. I truly appreciate um, your kindness and um, letting me trust you with your products. Uh, from Ms. Lizard. Thank you, Chris, for showing this and. And as always, thank you for showing us some of, of the completed work. Great price point on these. I bought the butterfly one off Amazon. I still want this sunflower, but I'm trying not to buy. I have too much already. You can never have too much. Go for it. And by the way, am, are between you and me, and everybody else listening, Art Dot doesn't like us me mention or us mentioning Amazon stuff because it's a little cheaper there. But since this isn't an Art Dot video, if you have any Art Dot stuff, always check out Amazon first, as as opposed to their official site, because you might be able to get it cheaper on Amazon. Although Art Dot does have discount codes a lot of times or discounted stuff, but so if you're looking to save some money, always check Amazon first. Patty, so pretty. I I bought a few of their smaller paintings through Amazon. There you go. When I first started, I was impressed. Yes, I, I from what I've seen of it, it was very nice. Uh, Fran, Mary Gold. Uh, hi, Chris. Uh, that is one great piece to work on. It's pretty and bright. Love the colors and flowers. Yes, how can you not love a sunflower? Diamonds and stuff. Really vibrant and the drills on it, with, uh, with the drills on it. Love art dot. Yes. Thanks for commenting. Bev Jones. FYI, the Dollar Tree around here has round stickers that fit nicely and come off easily with no mess left. I have purchased the four draw stackable kind, which really, which I really like because they're, um, reconfigurable. And take up minimal space. The suitcases are nice too. I don't, uh, I didn't know they had uh, canvases. Oh wow, that's really sparkly and I love the colors. <laughs> they pop. Thanks for sharing. Peace and love abide with you. Thank you so much, Bev, for that beautiful message. And um, yes, yeah, sometimes, by the way, uh, I also should point out, if somebody's talking about something and not specific about certain things in the video... I might not um, remember what's in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, just an FYI. <laughs> Cindy, thanks. Uh, or, thanks. Love the video. Uh, don't have one yet. I have the stickers and the, ro and the rose. Thank you. Thank you, Bev. Oops. Paula, I have never completed an art at canvas before, but have done some of their stickers. Really love this painting. Must check them out. Awesome. I hope you do. Jack, great video, Chris. I like how you show the canvas. Look with the drills on it. Thank you, Jack. Yeah, I thought it was a, you know, a good idea to do that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Viv, hey, Chris. This is, uh, this, it's beautiful canvas. Love the sunflowers. I might have to try them after I'm done with my no-buy. No-buy. Don't do a no-buy. I actually never uh, try this company at all, so definitely need to get, uh, give it a try. Thanks for sharing. Thank you, Viv. And yes, I think the no-buy has been long enough. <laughs> Margie. Wow, that canvas really comes alive with the drills. Yes, thanks, Margie. Cuckoo. For diamonds. Oh, I love that name. How awesome is that? <laughs> or for diamond painting, I should say. Um, uh, I've done a few art dots. Really like them. The drills are awesome. Thank you, Cuckoo. And um, KM Platt. 
Hi, Christopher. I really need to try out Art Dot. Thank you for showing this today. Well, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it, and I hope you try them out. And thanks for commenting. So that is my Art Dot comment video. Um, I'm going to leave that open. So I, I usually, I like my own video. <laughs> but I'm going to um, leave that just so I can come back to it uh, if I need be for some of those. Oh, by the way, that's the first time I've ever seen anything that says promote there. I wonder what that does. I got to check that out later, too. I got to try to promote myself, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. So this one, as you can see, is for Pam Diamond Painting, Sonia Ansel, and the painting is called Violet. There we go. Okay. The, um, Rachel. Hey, Rachel, the Diamond Art Nurse. That is right, right? <laughs> I always get people's names confused sometimes. Their screen names from their real names. That's why I use my real name. <laughs> oh my God, she's so pretty and my favorite color. Oh yes, that is for sure. Love the purple, love violet, love lavender. Purple's the best. Uh, Dottie Diva, which that's Billy, right? I think. <laughs> uh, on the cover mine, oh, the cover mine is cute. It's a beautiful painting, love the colors, and she's going to be stunning when done. Yes, for sure. She certainly is. And by the way, like I said, if I mispronounce names, if I miss call somebody's name, I'm sorry. It's just my memory is so bad. But I try to remember everybody and their names and all that good stuff. So I just, okay, move that there. Maritza, she's she's absolutely adorable. She is, isn't she? Thank you. Sugar Ray, very pretty. She is, I mean, just... Look at those beautiful flowers and the hair. Oh, love it. Linda Bain. Hey, Linda. Thank you for the hearts. Richard. Wow. Love the canvas. It's so clear. I, I do love these colors. Of course. She kind of reminds me of a character from Dr. Rod's House of Madness. From the 70s mixed with a bit of Morticia Adams. I don't know what House of Rod's Madness is. Um, but I could see Morticia a little bit. Uh, where will you put her when you finish her? Have a great uh, Monday, my friend. Thank you, Richard. I hope you're well. Um, I don't know. I have so many finished ones. Uh, my plans usually are when I finish them that if there's a specific one that I want hanging up, I'll hang it up. Or if I really want to hang it up right away, I will. Um, otherwise it kind of just goes in the finished pile <laughs> and my goal is to always like, let's switch them out. But in reality, I do usually switch them out. So things have been hanging up in certain places. I've been there for a long time, but there are a couple of places where I might take something down and put something else up. So, um, eventually she will be hung up at least for a while, um, when I uh, finish her. Uh, Sylvia, she is so pretty, and I love the purple. Yes, love it, too. Ooh, let's see who replied to that. <laughs> Richard did. I know, right? Um, Suzanne, or Susan, not Suzanne. Susan, beautiful. I love the purples. Can't wait to see her complete. Thank you. I hope to do it sometime. I don't know when, but she's just so beautiful with those purples. Amber, oh, I love her. Thank you, Amber, so much. Miranda... The rendering is amazing. Love, Pam. and so excited for you to work on this. Yes, Pam's diamond paintings are great. The renders are really great. Some of them are confetti heavy, for sure. Um, but they really do have... The renders are really great on them. Uh, Margie, very nice painting. Love all the purples. Yes. Paula, she's gorgeous. Such beautiful colors. Of course, I agree. Diamonds and stuff. Purple is my favorite color, so I'm excited about this, ecstatic about this canvas. Gorgeous. I agree. My purple is my favorite, too. Cynthia, love the purple. Oh, yes, for sure. I'll go back and heart that later when I do the comment. Uh, Kim, beautiful artwork. Yes, love it. Melanie, stunning. Uh, 
love me not i get that too the subject looks heartbroken yes i think i was saying it kind of looked like she was like doing the love you love you not lovely love you not thing with the flowers <laughs> um uh cc uh she's very pretty and love the purple love the flowers thank you yes it's beautiful uh oh and hi so hi <laughs> I hope I said your name right. Uh, Michelle, love all the purple. Of course. See, all the purple lovers have come out. Um, TD Hippie, thank you for sharing with us. You are appreciated. Well, thank you so much. And believe me, I appreciate you all who not only watch the videos, but take the time out to comment. I really, truly do appreciate it. And I'm sorry I take forever to get back to you all. So this is a finished video. Um, as you can see, here is this one, Stacy's uh, Pam's Diamond Painting by Stacy Deal, my dear friend of Koala and Cuddles, or the girl with the koala, and also the Jaded Gem Shop um, painting called um, Crowned. Again, I don't know if it's available. I can't get it to not swirl um, anymore, but this is really beautiful, too. So... This is just, just those two in the finished video. Uh, hopefully it won't start playing. Oh, it's on mute anyways. Okay. Um, let's see. Laura. Wow, they're so, they're so beautiful. Thank you, Laura. Yes, love them. They turned out fabulous. Love, love, love the koala. I know, it's so adorable. And I love the fact that the koala has those um, blues and grays in it too. From Ella. Um... Cass, I know that's you. She always says it, although she didn't say it here. <laughs> uh, hey, Chris, the kids were both so nice, but love the koala snuggle. It's so precious. Take care. Is Rose still out there? I looked up Rose Prophet Creations, but didn't find her. Uh, just people doing her creations. How do I find Rose if she's out there? Thanks. I'll definitely have to um, respond to that directly. Yeah, uh, first of all, thank you, Cass. Um, yes, Rose is still out there. She still has her channel. She still has her Facebook group and her, her diamond painting company and her Etsy store. She's still there. She just is doing things um, on Facebook now as far as videos um, as opposed to YouTube. But um, So I'll give you that direct information in uh, a direct comment <laughs> written. All right. Thanks, Cass, so much. Dime painting with Mike. Hi, Christopher. Love the koala. Very cute. One of my favorite animals. Other uh, animals. The other painting, the pink is lovely pastel shade. Love pastel colors. Uh, two fabulous painting here, there. Thank you so much, Mike. Yes, I adore koalas. Uh, and it's not just because it sounds like my last name. Uh, they're just the most adorable, cute thing. I, I Oh, I just want to hold one forever. And, uh, yeah, I love pastels, too, and uh, the pink was just fabulous. I, I really was, that's what drew me to that painting was the pinks and that. Maritza, congratulations on the finishes. I'm Jelly. I want to finish something. They come out gorgeous, Saltwin. They. Thank you so much, Maritza. I know, you, but you're so close. I know right now you're close to finishing one of yours. Just keep doing it. I know you can do it. Stick with one, like you said in your video recently. Stick to stick to the painting. Don't hop around. And I know you can get finishes. Really, I really know you can. And Miranda, they're both amazing. Didn't know you had a kit from Jade, but I'm so glad you do. Yes, that's my one and only Jade kit I had. It was a gift. And I'm not going to keep mentioning it because the person who mentioned it, who uh, gifted to me, says, stop mentioning it all the time or thanking me. But I do appreciate it. Uh, it was such a lovely gesture. Um, from Shelly, beautiful finishes. Thank you, Shelly. really appreciate that. Uh, from Sally, from a homespun hobby. Those canvases are beautiful. Uh, I want the globe. It's so pretty. I don't know what globe I can. I know I have a globe in my room. No, but it's not there. What globe? I'm confused. Um, 
Margie, beautiful finishes. Love them both. Thank you, Margie. Appreciate you. Tina, uh, they're both so beautiful. I love how descriptive you are in your videos. You have definitely made me look at diamond paintings differently in a positive way. Thank you for your video. Glad I found you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so much. That's so appreciative of, of from, from me to, to hear uh, from you. Um, excuse me. I'm just going to pop over and get a drink. Excuse me. As I was saying, or trying to say, Tina, thank you so much. Um, I try, I'm trying to be as descriptive and give my opinion as um, well as I can and be, you know, thoughtful and precise and I'm not an overcritical person. So... <coughs> Excuse me. So, so I don't have a lot of negative things to say usually, but if something's there, I just mention it and, you know, it's up to you to decide and all that kind of stuff. So I do my best. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so glad you found me too, and I hope you stick around. Sherry. Hi, Sherry. Both are awesome, Christopher. Well done. Thank you so much. Diamonds for Linda. Both are beautiful. So sparkly. Thanks for sharing. Yes, I love the sparkle on both of them. They're beautiful. GMR. Both both gorgeous. Great work. Thank you so much. Tracy. Uh, Stacy's koala is cute. Love your channel, Chris. Thank you so much, Tracy. I really do appreciate that. Sylvia. Uh, love them both. The little girl with the koala is very sparkly, and I love the colors. I know, right? Isn't she adorable? Mary Lou. Hi, friend. Love the koala and the little girl. Great job on both. Take care. Thanks, Mary Lou. I hope you're well. hope everybody is well and taking care of themselves. Lisa. Both, uh, they are both gorgeous, Chris. I especially love the one by Stacy. Both the girl and the koala's eyes look awesome. Yes, again, the rendering is fabulous. Patricia, the koala is adorable, Chris. Thank you. I know it's too much. Too cute. I really like the koala. I know, Patty. Thank you so much. Sugar Ray, stunning canvases. Thank you, Sugar Ray. Paula, wow. They both turned out gorgeous. The koala is my favorite. I know. Who doesn't love a koala? Cynthia, indeed, they are beautiful. Thanks, Cynthia, so much for your support. Um, LM. I'll just call you LM. <laughs> Beautiful. Thanks, LM. Vivian. Wow, both paintings came out beautiful and stunning. Very sparkly. Great job, Chris. Thank you so much. Love the sparkle for sure. Uh, Tara. Oh, my God, gorgeous. Thank you, Tara. Truly appreciate it. Diane. Two great finishes, and I love all those ABs and the second one. <laughs> In the second one, probably she meant. Yes, the tons, tons of ABs in that, in that uh, Jaded Gem Shop one. I was so happy with the ABs in that one. Uh, Rosa, thank you so much, Rosa. Jack, they're both beautiful. Great job. Thank you, Jack. Whitney, oh my God, both beautiful canvas or finishes, Chris. Thank you, Whitney. I have, oh, I have, it's been forever, I think, since I've seen you. I miss you, girl. Pam's Zion Painting, direct from Pam. I appreciate you. Thank you, Pam. Truly appreciate you as well and your kindness towards me. And Linda, with the heart. Thank you, Linda. So that's all the comments from these finished videos. Let's go on to the next one. So what do we have here? Oh, this is the uh, unboxing I had of the rose and the unicorn from an AliExpress um, store that I bought these two from. Uh, beautiful stained glass paintings. How gorgeous. See, you could see it better there. Oh, love it. Okay, let's look. Oh, my dear friend Elizabeth, who I, who, uh, she only gets to comment every so often. Um, she has a busy life, so the video is, was so fun, fun, Ooh, Chris, speak quiet. The video was so funny for a couple reasons. First, I had seen this store on AliExpress and was curious what it was like because, to me, they have some cool pictures. 
Yes, they do. This is a fabulous store on AliExpress called Lior. I read one bad review, so it threw me off. So I was really curious to see what you thought about this store. Secondly, I fell in love with this very same picture months ago and bought it, but can't remember which budget store I got it from. I have already finished it and was excited when you showed this with uh, showed this same one I did. I'd love to see a picture, by the way, if there's any possibility, because I'd love to see the size and you know and all that kind of good stuff. And let me know how it looks. I love it as much as you do. So wasn't expecting you to turn the picture over. I was convinced about. I was concerned about the guide circles as I really don't like them. So glad you cleared that issue up for me. For me, uh, Show us once it's done. Oh, I will definitely... Thank you, Elizabeth, so much for your support all these years of watching me <laughs> and commenting. I truly appreciate you. Um, uh, but, uh, yes, I will definitely show you. I, I have a trove of mostly small stuff, but I probably have a few bigger stuff that I haven't showed off yet. I haven't done a finished video in a long time, or at least not a, like a collective one. I did, uh, we just seen a finished video, but um, that I commented on. But I mean, as a collective of a lot of stuff I've done, I have not done one in a long time. And uh, people love seeing them, it's just, for whatever reason, I haven't done one, and now I don't remember when I did what, so I'm going to really have to go and look back and do a whole massive finished video of stuff like over the past like six months probably. But um, thank you so much, Elizabeth, and uh, yeah, both of the canvases are really pretty, but especially the unicorn. And um, AliExpress, you know, like always, we all know for anybody who shop there is always a crapshoot of whether they're going to be, you know, good good a good store or not um but i did my a custom i had done recently from the same store the lior store and it came out really nice um the guide circle thing wasn't an issue again don't love them wish they weren't there but you know there's been worse things and if you really love something sometimes you can kind of struggle through it so uh, but the guide circle thing really isn't an issue with me as far as they're not bad ones on those. So thank you, Elizabeth sugar Ray pretty canvases. Thank you. Yes, they are gorgeous. Love me some stained glass. Hi, Chris. Those are beautiful. Love them. Thank you, Sylvia. Miranda. Oh my OMG. This is amazing. You could do so much with this. I know, right? I can't wait to see great choice. I have never heard of this store before, but I might check it out. I really think you should. Although, I, there might be some stuff you like there, Miranda. Um, I haven't been back in a while. They do add stuff, change stuff. The weird thing is, for anybody listening who does want to check it out, it's like, I notice they don't, like, list everything in their, like, diamond painting section. What I mean is... You know, when you list, when you go to look through pages of the paintings, you expect to, like, see everyone there. But I noticed that that's not true. And so if you, like, say you uh, clicked on the picture of the rose, um, it will have, like, five other kind of paintings there, including, let's say, the unicorn. But if you go through the all, the, the all area of the listings you might not see that unicorn there so you have to actually kind of click on something that if, if something catches your eye or you think you kind of like it or you like that style you kind of have to click on that and see what other stuff they might have it's really weird how they list their stuff so you might miss stuff you know to just an fyi but it is a really nice store to uh go to and uh, by the way uh, most of this stuff if uh, you see anything you like here or you're interested in anything I've said about any of these stores or paintings, um, just go back to the original video and it, there should be links somewhere, you know. So, for instance, that one, you'll find the Lior link in the video of the unboxing or the finishing or whatever, you know. Okay. 
Uh, thank you, Miranda. I truly appreciate it. Diamonds by Tita. Hi, Tita. I love your, both uh, paintings. They're amazing. Thank you. They are. Uh, diamonds and stuff. Wow, those canvases are stunners. Never seen a render that beautiful from a budget-friendly company before. I know, right? Isn't that fabulous? Um, those are stained glass, so they're slightly probably easier to render. However, like I said, from what I've seen on that store, I kind of think their renderings are really good. And my custom came out really nice. So I kind of trust them. And, you know, what? The, just a quick tip is if you find something you like, again, they're so super affordable. So just get one. You know, if you find something you like, get one, see how you like it. And then if you like it and you see other stuff, then you can go back and because you know you can trust it and like get like more if you want, you know, like a, a bigger order, let's say. Um, because sometimes I'm the kind of person who is like, if, if you can buy something for like $15, like you might be able to find a painting, you know, again, because that's how, you know, kind of they're cheap. They're $15, $20. You're like, well, let me get like four or five at one time because it's just, you know, you get them all at once and... It's easier that way, uh, and, you know, I just want them all at once, right? But uh, I would definitely suggest, you know, just testing it out first and then going back and then getting a bulk order. <laughs> at least that's how I do it. Um, in the rare event that I do it, I don't do it many more. It's been a long time. Um, Linda, that beautiful canvas is thank you, Linda. Another longtime commenter and supporter. As well as Paula's. Well, as well. Wow, love the unicorn. Yes, fabulous. Tracy, hi, Chris. I heard you were talking about AliExpress, and I've, he I've heard their stuff isn't licensed. Can you share with me what you know? Thanks. Yes, they're not licensed. AliExpress is... AliExpress itself is a kind of a catch-all. Think of it like Amazon. It's like the Chinese Amazon, you know? So there's little shops... And they're all under the auspices of AliExpress, you know. Just like Amazon, you know, when you buy something from Amazon, um, Amazon sells stuff, their own things. But other things come from other places, too, obviously, you know. Uh, but because, again, it's a Chinese uh, entity, they don't do things about um, copyrights and licensing and all that kind of stuff. So it's your, um, well, what's the word? Um, choice. Uh, wow, I, I was blanking on an easy word like choice. Can you believe it? Uh, it's your choice how you feel about that and whether you want to buy something you may or may not want to, may, may or may not know if it's licensed or not. You know? Um... Yeah, it's so they're they're not like a Dreamer Designs or Diamond Art Club or the one with the Diamond Art thing. No, um, these stores just generally take uh, art from wherever they get it from, or they might create it themselves, or they're using AI or who knows what. Um, so again, it's it's up to you what you want to do with that. Uh, I hope that helped. F <laughs> uh, F Kerr. Ooh, you should see hear the thing going on in my head. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> disrespect, disrespect, Riffs. <laughs> love the unicorn. The colors are gorgeous. Thank you. And love the hearts. Thank you for the hearts. The rainbow hearts. Uh, Susan, so beautiful. Have fun doing them. If you do a whip and chat, that would be amazing. Uh, have a beautiful day. Thank you. Oh, by the way, if you heard a squeak, I'm, I have a paper towels here. That's what was squeaking, not something else. So, or making a sound. Because I know somebody else who laughs at weird sounds. Um, I just wanted to point that out. Uh, so, Susan, thank you so much. Um, I do whip and chats occasionally. Uh, but my bo life is so boring. I don't really have a lot to talk about usually. And the stuff I usually want to talk about is like controversial or opinionated stuff that people don't want to hear. So <laughs> I do one every probably few months. And um, 
And plus, I'm just lazy, so I have, and what I do is I usually, I think about the topic, and then I think about all the stuff I want to say, and then when I go to record, uh, like, 90% of the stuff I want to say goes out the window, and I'm kind of just, like, sitting there, like, so I want to talk about this, and I, and I tell you the basic thing, and I'm like, gee, in my mind last night in bed, it was, it sounded so great, but now it sounds horrible. <laughs> And by the way, I, you know, I always say in my videos, <laughs> my throat hurts after talking for a while. So I've been talking for maybe a half hour and it's already starting to go. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to do the video. But that's another thing that annoys me is, is how quickly my voice just gets all messed up, especially when I'm recording videos. So Cass, hi, Chris. Thanks for the re the reveals. The rose is pretty, but the unicorn is stunning. I agree 100%. I hope you do either a whip or chat or show us the finished product. Well, I might do a whip with it sometime. I don't know when I'll get to it, um, but I'll definitely show you the finishes. I promise. I promise. Mary Lou, I hope... Wow, I hope you do the unicorn soon. Hello, Miss Scarlet. Take care, my friend. Never heard of them till now. Uh... Yeah, most people don't talk about AliExpress at all anymore. That's why. And now it's all about the Timu if you're going to get cheap stuff. Or, you know, do like me with the budget-friendly uh, uh, promos. But yeah, most people don't talk about AliExpress anymore. Um, but they're still there. and they, You know, there's still some good stuff out there. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. Depending on the store you go from on there, on their site. And Scarlett says hi. She always appreciates your your calling her out, Mary Lou. Uh, Melanie, oh the unicorn, the uh was worth the wait. Thank you. Yes, I, I, I held that unicorn back and showed you every other uh stained glass painting I had before I showed you the unicorn. Uh, my partner in crime from DAC is uh land is landscape image, but the drill field and schemes on the side are printed as portrait. Hmm. Thanks, Melanie. Viv, wow, Chris, both canvases are beautiful. The unicorn, it's gorgeous. Love the rendering and the size, it's perfect. The colors are just wow. The rose is beautiful, too. I'll check it out. Thanks for sharing. Thank you for commenting and for the support, Viv. And they are just stunning. Shirley, Chris, is the black... Oh, sorry. I'm going to get more in the hair. Chris, is the black uh, sticky or is it paint? A print. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. I think the rose is really pretty. What did uh what you order that was nicer? Well the black no, the black is I'm assuming you mean the the black that is the outlines for the stained glass. That will be done in black drills. So, yes, it's sticky. The, it's a full canvas. Um, it's not, like, printed or anything. Uh, and you just paint the inside. No, Or just dime paint the inside. No, you uh, dime paint the... <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. You dime and paint the uh, black outline as well. I don't know what you mean... What is nicer? I don't know if you commented before you seen the second one. Um, I, I'm confused. I don't know. I love pre-kitted paintings, but um, but since I don't shop many places that offer that, I've done ton of kitted up pieces that I didn't think to mark. So all the ones I've gotten kitted up, I've got to go through and find. Uh, I was stupid when I did it thinking to save myself trouble. I was pre-kidding my own, my own. Now I'm going to be a rough Easter hunt for me. <laughs> yes, I would say if I'm understanding that correctly, don't pre-kit all your stuff. Um, I guess if you label it and put it in a box or something, you could do that. Uh, but you had to be very clear on what everything is. Uh, I'm doing a couple gnomes from uh, Dreamer Designs, and I've never done a mystery kit, so I saw some pictures I liked by someone and said 
Nostalgia 50s, well, I figured it was time to try real mystery kit. That's cool. Um, mystery kits aren't for me, but best of luck with that. <laughs> uh, that's really beautiful rose. I would want to diamond paint uh, the line. Ooh, I, ooh, Chris, I would want to paint diamond paint the black areas. Oh my god. Oh yes. The the yes the. Again, the lines are nine painted. Yes. Oh my god. That's an amazing unicorn. It's truly stunning. Uh, I hear a dove in the background, and it's more beautiful than any music you could have played. Oh, thank you so much. The sound of nature in the morning are beautiful, and at dusk, they're they're nice too. Thank you so much. Yes, that is my dove. Her name is Scarlet. She's seventeen, going on eighteen, I think, this year. Well, I think she's seventeen now. Uh, this summer is she should be turning eighteen, I think. And uh, she lives in the kitchen with me when whereas I dine paint and do a lot of these videos. So, if you hear, like I said, if you hear banging or cooing or weird noises, it's usually coming from her. <laughs> oh, let me part that. And so. Right now, I'm just going to take a break. I might come back, or this might be the end of the video. We'll see. But if I do come back, or if I take uh, don't decide to do any more comments today, I'll put a little end clip here. But uh, I might come back a little later to finish the comments. So that's why you might see a little cut here. All right? So thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll be back. Okay, I am back after a few days of um not filming i wanted to put a couple more in i can't believe i only got through about four about four videos um i'm sorry um so let's just continue um i'm gonna do two more and it seems like about each video is taking like 10 minutes so i don't know anyways uh let's just get through this so the next one we have is the paint some way unboxing of three valentine's gnomes and two honey gnomes uh, so let's see. Bianca says, love the Valentine finish. They're cute. Thank you so much. Yeah, they were awesome. Uh, Michelle, so cute. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, from Missy. Oh my God, what one so cute. I just love the gnomes. Uh, thank you for showing finishes on your channel. I love that you do this. Yes, you know, I, I don't know if I said it before again. Uh, like I said, it's been a few days since I uh, did the other ones, although I don't think I did any budget ones on that. I think they were just, uh, anyways, um, regular, um, normal diamond painting. You know what I mean. Um, but I do try to get at least a finish in when I do the special drill ones because people do love seeing that and they're fun to see and all that. So I do try, I do try to grind them out as much as I can, um, for you all to see the finish. And plus, they don't go up right away. I can I can have like a sometimes up to maybe you know two three weeks before I put them up, so I have time to finish a couple of them, you know. Um, but other times I have I actually put them up like in the next day or two, so I have to race right through it. So it all depends on the scheduling. Anyways, moving on, moving on. That's behind the scenes stuff nobody cares about. <laughs> Surely, uh, watch watching replay Christopher love it. Oh, thank you, my friend. Oh, thank you so much. That's so nice of you to say. Sugar Ray, awesome finishes. Thank you. Um, Patty, they both turned out cute. Yes, they did. I love them. And they were really fun to do. Nice snack size, fun, pretty one done. So cute hugs. Thanks, uh, Dot Diva. Uh, LR, I'm with you. The uh, iridescent ones are best. Oh, yes, my favorite. I actually have yet to work with them but i'm in love with them even from the videos i've seen oh yeah they are really beautiful uh the iridescent um clear crystals uh where it's really like ab clear crystals whatever oh they're just absolutely gorgeous love them um rocky uh sweet lovely thank you rocky judes hey judes uh, hi, love. I'm finishing up Diamond Dots Taxi Goodbye. Your unboxing is just what I needed to get this partial finished. It's a very confetti-heavy. 
love your paintings. Thank you, Judes. I'm glad you got your thing finished by listening to little old me. <laughs> Sylvia, love all the gnomes. Too cute. Thanks, Sylvia. Yeah, gnomes are just adorable. Miranda, oh my God, these are all so cute. I love the honeybee ones. Oh yeah, the honeybee ones are great um, because they have those gigantic hats on and tons of lots, lots um, of the larger gems. Mary Lou, thank you so much for doing the finishes. They're really pretty. Hello, Miss Scarlet. Mary Lou, Scarlet says hello to you too. She was just talking. Oh, there she goes again. She says, hello, Mary Lou. Mary Lou. <laughs> okay, diamonds and stuff. Really cute. Thanks for sharing. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Diane, they're all really cute. And I love those two finishes uh, you had for us. Thanks, Diane. Truly appreciate it. Valerie. Val. Hey, Val. Nice to see you here. It's been a while. Really love the gnomes. Yes, they're so adorable. Uh, Margie. Really cute. Love the Valentine's gnomes. Love the colors. Yes. Uh, Susan. Love, love, love. Thank you, Susan. I truly appreciate it. Uh, KM. Thanks for the sharing. Thank you so much for watching. I really, uh, how much times can I say appreciate, but I really do. Paula, love them all. Have completed the first two gnomes for smashing the specials. Awesome. I have a gnome obsession, thanks to Mindy. <laughs> oh, yes. She loves the gnomes, and so do I, and so do a lot of people. And when they when we keep showing them, especially Mindy, when she keeps showing them, you know, we just got to get them all. Don't you just, they're just all so great. Okay. So that's enough for this video. And the last one I'm going to do for today is this one, which we're going to continue with the gnome theme. Um, so this is from FG Normal, three holiday gnomes, a flower and wheel, and a snowman. All right. So, Mindy, speak of the devil. Chris hijacked one of my packages. Love them. <laughs> yes, well, you know. The gnomes like to travel to ev lots of places around here. <laughs> Thanks, Mindy. Michelle, love them all. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, Michelle. Jude's back. Hey, honey. Oh, my God. This haul ticks all my boxes. Love, love, love them all. Can't pick a favorite. Well, you don't have to pick a favorite. Get them all, Jude. Get them all. Uh, KT, love the bachelor gnomes, Chris. <laughs> a good selection of paintings. Hope you're well and happy. And a new year. Take care. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I hope you're having a oops, not yet. Uh, you're happy. You're having a wonderful new year, and everything's well with you. Viv, uh, hey Chris, these are cute gnomes. All of them. You can never go wrong with gnomes and snowman. Super cute. I know, right? Um, a million designs and a million beauties out there. Uh, Sylvia, love them all, Chris. Thank you, Sylvia. Miranda, these are great. The Easter gnome was my favorite. I don't even remember what Eastern what I know I had. I know the other one uh, that I showed, but I'd have to go back and look. <laughs> Let me go back right now real quick. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Look at him. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, he is adorable. Thanks, Miranda. Deborah, love the gnomes. Oh, yeah. See, the gnomes are super, super popular. Diamonds and stuff. Those are adorable. Love them all. Thank you. Mary Lou, hi there. I love the snowman and the wheel. Really cute. The finishes are just beautiful. I'm so, so glad you do them when you get them. Take care, my friend. Thanks, Mary Lou. I hope you're well. I kind of feel it's been a while since I've seen you around. I hope everything's okay. Uh, Tita, hi, Chris. Love them all. But I think the no snowman is my favorite. Thanks so much. The snowman was great. <laughs> Bianca, the gnomes are so cute. Thank goodness I'm on a no buy, but they will keep, but they will keep in memory bank. <laughs> I hope the no buy is over. I think you've got to get some gnomes for you, Bianca. Oops, got to do that. Sugar Ray, canvases turned out great. Thank you so much. Wonderful canvases. Thank you. Love those Valentine's gnomes. Completed four so far for Smashing the Specials. Oh, I think we ticked up. Great, Paula. How many did you do for Smashing the Specials? Jamie, I like that you show the finishes. Helps to see how it will turn out. Thank you. Exactly, yes. I think it's so important 
you know, we, we can't really show the, the regular drills because it would take forever for the videos to come out. But we can show you some specials. So, you know, that's what we try. And love the snowman. Hi, Chris. The snowman is adorable. The gnomes were cute. You finished. Snowman was pretty. I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you, Karen. Hope you're wonderful. Uh, user EK. Oh, super duper. Well, thank you, EK. And KM. Good morning, Christopher. Enjoying the specials. Great. Thank you so much for your uh, viewership and support. I truly appreciate you all. And um, that'll be it for the video. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to finish the rest of them that I have up. And from there on, we'll decide whether we should continue with this or not. Um, so, give me all your feedback in the description box this not the description box in the comments below and um let me know what you think about uh, this sort of uh interaction and this way of doing the videos and commenting on the responses um i'll like i said i'll take it really in consideration how i'll um if i'll do it again or after i'm caught up you know all right thank you guys so much um this is part one because i still have more to go so uh, stay tuned for possible part twos and threes. Who knows how many more. Um, but thanks so much again. And until next time, please, everybody, be safe, be happy. Stay safe, stay happy. Bye, guys.